2024 is a leap year, and that phrase is no accident. This year, we are taking a quantum leap forward in terms of spiritual evolution, in terms of our own personal timelines and humanity's overall timeline for ascension. Leap Day on the 29th of February is going to be a powerful activation portal. And this new moon in Aquarius on the 9th of February is also a very powerful activation portal or gateway. So as we're moving through this month of February and this 10-day period between the 9th of February and the new moon in Aquarius and the 29th of February and that infamous leap day, just know that timelines are very malleable here. It is very easy to alternate between timelines or otherwise known as different versions of reality, right? Parallel realities and dimensions and to align very powerfully with the most positive positive and beneficial timeline for you moving forward. So really utilize this energy as an opportunity to visualize, to daydream, to put yourself into an energetic alignment with the reality that you wish to be experiencing. Pay extra attention to the words that you speak, to the thoughts that you think and the actions that you take and whether or not these are aligning you with the highest version of yourself that you wish to embody. There's a lot of beautiful spontaneous activations going on during this time period being the strongest of course on the 9th which is the day that I'm filming this as well as the 29th and like I said this is a leap year not just a leap month so we're going to be working with these energies and this this uh, quantum leap in reality, so to speak, throughout this entire year, there's going to be these these portals, these gateways of energy that continue to pop up that allow us to take better advantage of this. These are just the two dates that I'm talking about in particular right now, because this is the energy that we're moving through and working with. So really working with that energy, like I said, daydreaming, visualizing, aligning yourself with that reality. And taking really good care of your physical body because we are receiving powerful light codes. There is so much opening up for us in terms of our higher selves, in terms of our, our energy bodies, as well as our physical bodies and the way that they are shifting and changing as we're moving through this ascension process. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Make sure that you are activating your water. Just imagine as you're holding it that it is crystallizing and you're, you're restoring that organic blueprint to your water. Do the same thing with your food. Say those prayers over your food. Eat as well as you can. Whatever it is that your particular body is desiring, you will know. You'll just know. So use your intuition with that. And whatever feels like it's feeding and fueling your body the most efficiently, go ahead and eat more of that. All right. Don't worry so much about the guidelines of what everyone tells you you should eat. Listen to your body. This whole process is about us learning to listen to our bodies, getting more in tune and in touch with our bodies because we are taking our bodies with us. This ascension process is happening within the physical bodies. Our bodies, as well as our heart chakras, our heart centers, right, are the portals through which this ascension process is happening. So really working with that, this I'm feeling this, this next 10-day period as a really powerful opportunity for us to listen to our bodies and get more in touch, get more in tune with them, anchor into them more powerfully. And as we anchor more deeply into our bodies, we're then able to anchor more light, All right, Because we're not going to receive more light than our bodies can hold and our bodies can handle, but sometimes it's going to feel like we are. All right, and it's, as we're moving through this month, if you are experiencing a lot of ascension symptoms, that just means that you need to take better care of yourself. You need to, your body's asking you to listen to it more. Perhaps you need more rest. Perhaps you need more hydration. Uh, perhaps you just need to ground and to breathe. Working with the breath is going to be a really powerful way to move through these energies because for some people, they might bring up, and remember, I'm not a doctor. If you're having any strong symptoms, physical symptoms of any kind, it is always a good idea to get yourself checked out by a medical professional. I'm going to put that as a disclaimer, but a lot of people may be experiencing heart palpitations. They may be experiencing anxiety, uh, dizziness, just sort of racing thoughts. And it just, uh, it's, it can, it can feel like anxiety when the light body is activating. 
All right, so breathing is really going to help with that. Breathing is also going to help us to anchor into our bodies. So much is opening up for us in terms of our gifts and abilities. I know we say this, we talk about this all the time, but that's because it is constantly happening. And this month, and especially during this 10-day period here between the 9th and the 29th, uh, we're really, really going to be feeling that because our DNA is evolving, right? It's activating. It's coming online. I've been feeling for some people their angelic uh, DNA templates activating. All right. And so, um, yeah, it's just a lot. You really want to soothe yourself. You really want to take care of yourself. If you have any soothing crystals, um, work with those crystals. My crystal was just calling to me as I was um, doing this video. So it wanted to be known and it wanted uh, all of you to know that your crystals are there to work with you. They are of the earth as we are, and they all carry different vibrations and frequencies of energy. So just feel into which ones might resonate the most for you at this time. And these are the ones that you're being called to work with. What else do we want to talk about here with these energies? Give me a minute to think about that. During this portal, we really have the opportunity to move through time. Molly McCord did a great series on the leap year energies and the leap day energies. And she talks about this as the time travelers portal. She quite literally talks about beings from other dimensions who are traveling into this, this reality and utilize this portal specifically of the leap year to be able to do that uh, because of the frequencies coming through that allow for their, their, um, their presence, allow them to move through the dimensions. All right, so it's really, really powerful in that regard. And we can utilize that energy in meditation to move backward and forward through time with ease. If there's a period from our childhood, from our younger years that we want to revisit to receive healing, we can absolutely do that to retrieve lost pieces of our soul. Fragmented pieces of our energy is another way to put that, our consciousness. We can move We can move forward through time, meet our, our future selves, see what messages our future selves have for us. So in meditation, set that intention to connect with your higher self, of course, in your, your beautiful um, bubble of heart-centered energy, right? In that beautiful sacred space that you create when you do this type of work. Uh, set that intention for your higher self to guide you through time, past, present, future, all incarnations, all versions of you throughout the multiverse and take you uh, to the point in time that you need to see, that you need to be present in, in order to receive the healing, the clarity and the wisdom and the guidance that you need at this time and just see where you go. All right, this is a time of really aligning with our higher selves and aligning with our future selves. Some people, I quite literally feel like timelines are gonna merge and your future self and your present self, it's like you are going to become your future self almost like in an instant. Right, because this is time out of time as we're working with this leap year energy. All right, where the typical rules don't apply. So let's have fun with this energy. Let's take, like I said, I just, I got to say this over and over again because it's so important. Take that time to daydream. Take that time to imagine what it looks like, what it feels like to be in the reality that you are creating. Remember that re reality already exists. It's just aligning your vibration, your frequency to match it. So we have a powerful opportunity to do that. And like I said, a lot of this stuff is happening spontaneously. We don't have to do anything consciously with it except be present. However, we can work consciously with these energies and experience a whole different level of what they have to offer. So happy leap year to everybody. Happy new moon in Aquarius to all of you who are finding this as I'm recording it and putting it out. And remember, we're working, <laughs> we're working with this year of time out of time, right? So we always talk about how we can move, we can move through time always, right? So when, when I do these readings, I always tell people like you can connect with the energy of this day, even if you're finding this video and that day has already happened. And that is especially true right now. So if you're finding this after the new moon in Aquarius, but you really want to work with those new moon energies. And I have a few other videos talking about different astrological perspectives of this new moon and how it's allowing us to step into our authenticity, to embrace our higher selves and to embrace our soul's journey on a whole different level with a whole new level of clarity and confidence. So if you want to tap into that energy after the ninth, go ahead and utilize this portal to do that. All right. Let it take you or, or consciously travel right through your intention to wherever it is. And it's so funny as I'm saying this, you know, spirits pointing out that of course being present in the now, that's the only place we ever really have to be right. <laughs> 
<laughs> touche, touche. Uh, but allow this energy to take you wherever it is that is going to be most beneficial and just set that intention.